Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a full page header with bottom navigation. I have imported the Avada Gym pre-built here, and I'm going to convert this from having the header at the top of the page to having it at the bottom of the page, like this. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one. And if you don't want to miss one, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. OK, let's begin. OK, so if we look at our existing site, we can see that the header is just a logo, a menu, and a button on a transparent background. What I want to do is make a full page header instead, and place the navigation at the bottom. So to test this out, I'll go to Avada Layouts and create a new layout called Sandpit, and create a new header layout section called Full Page Header. I'll also go into the conditions, and assign my test page to this layout. OK, so now let's edit the new header layout section. To start, I will create my hero container. This will be the same as the one on the current site, it's just going to be in the header. So I'll add a 1-1 one -one container, and edit it. Initially, I will set this to minimum height, and add a value of 100 VH, which is 100% of the vertical height. So now I'll head to the background tab, and images, and add my hero image. It's this one here, at full size. OK, that looks great. Such a good shot. I will just change the background position of this image to center top here, as I always want to keep that gap above the head. It doesn't change anything now, but it would have moved up when I added the bottom navigation with center center. To add our content, let's just go to the home page and copy that column, and paste it in before this one, and then delete the other one. I'll also set the column alignment to center as a starting point, and I will add some top margin to this column, about 400 pixels. OK, that's my hero section. Now I want to add the navigation to this header. To make it a lot easier for me, I'm going to reuse the original header layout section. So I'll go to that, and copy the container here. Now I'll come back to my new header layout section, and paste it in after this one. OK, there it is. Now currently it's below the fold, as our top container is full height, and it has a transparent background. And if I go to the Extras tab, I can see it has Position Absolute turned on. I don't want that on here, so I will just turn that off. So let's edit this a bit. I'll start with the logo. Currently it's pulling the logo through dynamic content, but I think I will change this out. I'll delete the dynamic content, and add the full size logo in here. And on the Design tab, I'll give it an image max width of 250 pixels to make it retina crisp. OK, for the menu, I'm just going to go to the main tab, and set the font size to be 20 pixels here. OK, so now I'll go back to the container. On the Design tab, I'll just reduce the top and bottom padding to 25 pixels. And on the Background tab, I will instead set the background colour to colour 7. So now let's get this above the fold. Now if we quickly look at our logo, we can see it's 262 pixels in height. And we are displaying it at half size. So that's 131 pixels. And we have 50 pixels top and bottom padding combined. So that means our bottom container is 181 pixels in height. So if I come back to our hero container, I just need to edit the minimum height. So here I will write calc, open parentheses, 100 VH, space, minus space, 181 pixels, end parentheses. And our hero container shortens to the exact amount to fit the container below on the screen. Perfect. OK, one more thing. I want this navigation container to be sticky when it gets to the top, so I'll edit that again, and head to the Extras tab. So to start, I'll turn Position Sticky on. I'll turn Sticky off on Medium and Small screens, and I'll set the Sticky Container background colour to be colour 8, with an alpha value of minus 5, just to add a touch of transparency. I'm also going to edit the logo again, and on the Design tab, with Position Sticky enabled, I'll add an Image Sticky Max Width of 150 pixels, so the logo reduces in size when the container is sticky. OK, that should do it for Desktop. Before I check it out, let's look at the responsive views. Let's start with medium screens. Yeah, that looks pretty good already, with the menu changing to a mobile menu. It looks like the padding on the container has been reduced a bit as well. I can see that the column widths here are set to custom, and this image column is set to 24%. So this logo, and therefore the container height, would fluctuate depending on screen size and orientation. I could change the column widths, 
But in any case, I think it's better just to have bottom navigation on large screens only. So what I will do here is to go to the navigator and collapse this, then I will duplicate the hero container and move it under the header. So this way we can have two hero containers, one above the navigation on desktop and one below it for medium and small screens. Let's set that up. So now on the extras tab of the bottom container, I'll set some rendering logic of device type not equal to desktop. So this container only renders on medium and small screens. Now if I go back to the top container, which is the one I want to use just on desktop, I will set the rendering logic of device type is equal to desktop. So now it disappears in my medium screen preview. For this container on medium screens, I'll set a minimum height of 600 pixels and adjust the top margin on that column back to 180 pixels. And I also think the title is a bit big. And as this is just rendering on medium and small screens, I can just change that here. I think 56 pixels might be a better size. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, let's look at small screens. This looks okay here as well. The rendering logic I just applied means the navigation is at the top here as well. The button is gone here, so that column must have had visibility turned off for small screens. Looking at the menu, I think I want the icon to be a bit bigger for the responsive use, so I'll go to the mobile tab and set the mobile menu trigger font size to 36 pixels. Yeah, that's better. And for this container on small screens, I think I will set the minimum height to 500 pixels. Okay, let's come back to the large screen view, and I think we might be done. Let's save this layout section, and let's go into preview and have another look at the three different screen sizes. Here's desktop, here's medium screen, and here's small screen. Yeah, they look pretty good. Let's just have a look on the front end as well. If you remember, I've already created a layout called Sandpit, with this header layout section assigned, and with conditions for the layout to be used on my test page. And so if I log out here to get rid of the WordPress top bar, and come to my test page, we have our new header layout section in action, and the height is perfect. As soon as I begin to scroll, the page content comes into view, and as it gets to the top, the navigation container goes sticky, and the image shrinks down. From here I could decide where I wanted this layout to be used on the site. In this case, I just add the header layout section to the global layout, and then just remove the top hero section on the home page, as it would now be in the header. There are also other ways to make a full page header with bottom navigation, like making the top container full height, and then making the bottom container transparent or semi-transparent, and adding a negative margin to bring it up over the top container and its background image. Play around and see what you can come up with. Okay, this concludes our video on how to make a full page header with bottom navigation. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos, and if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.